everyone, uh, welcome to Food with Chetna and I have got Kate here with me who is going to bake something absolutely delicious for us, isn't it Kate? I hope so. I'm going to make some um, little frangipan cakes and they have no gluten in them, they're made with almond flour and I use um, a coconut palm sugar because Ooh. it's unrefined and it's so delicious. It's not to be confused with normal palm sugar, okay. this is from the coconut and it's um, it's really nice. Have a little taste. taste. Yeah. yeah, it's it tastes sort of treacly. Mm. It's got a really amazing Good flavor. flavor. Mm. Anyway, so I'm going to start by using ground almonds, some softened butter. I've got two eggs, uh, the coconut palm sugar, and a couple of nectarines. And when I finish doing it, I'm going to sprinkle a few basil leaves on top because basil works really well with both almonds and nectarines. So while I will mix all these ingredients yes. together. How can I help? I'm, we only really need one nectarine. Okay. But, um, so you don't trust me, so you've got another one I've got spare. two because I just had two. Yeah, yeah. But also, because they're, they're not hugely ripe. Okay. I trust you completely. They're not, they're not massively ripe because if they're too ripe, you can't actually get yeah. them off the, off yeah, the just, stone without yeah. eating like that. So what I need is some really thin slices. Okay. So I'm going to start by putting 100 grams of incredibly soft butter into a bowl. Then I'm going to add 100 grams of the coconut palm sugar. If you want to add other sugar, hmm. you can use caster sugar or oh, like a muscovado okay. or whatever sugar that you love. So I'm going to add that and then I'm just going to cream, try not to get it all over the place, okay. cream the butter and the palm sugar together. It's not like a normal cake where you have to get it really, really fluffy. You can. It will rise quite a lot because of the egg. Normally with a frangipan, what you would do is you do this part and then you would add um, the eggs a tiny bit at a time. So, so the reason you do it a tiny bit at a time is so that it yeah. doesn't curdle. Okay. Thanks, Chetna. Maybe you could cook with me every day. I know. That would be great to have Brilliant. a sous chef. <laughs> and, uh, thank you for joining me today. It's, it's really, been really lovely. Well, I came, didn't I? Really, to curry, and yes. we ended up doing this, which is quite nice. Yes, Chetna's curries are legendary, as are her chutneys. Thank you. They are. Last night was just incredible. Thank you. Right. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time, and just mix in. It's about 120 grams of ground almonds. I'm going to pop in there. And I'm just going to add the rest of the egg. I've got this brilliant tin with these loose oh, bottoms. Loose bottoms. Because everything yeah. gets stuck otherwise. I love these tins. Yeah, no, they're yeah. really good. They're really heavy, so they don't warp in the oven. But you can use any cupcake tins you've got. You could yeah. even use cases if you're really scared about it, about it. But the frangipan doesn't tend to stick. So what I'm going to do is just put this frangipan mixture into each of the holes. So oh, it's probably like a tablespoon in each. It's really important to get the heat to the almond mix because it sort of almost caramelises the almonds and the sugar and the butter together. So you yeah. need it to have a whack of heat. And uh, you know, you won't be very feeling very guilty eating these. No, because the palm sugar, because it's unrefined, there's a slightly, well, it's quite a, lo a lower GI, so yeah. it means that it sort of affects your insulin level less. So before you start doing this, you need to set your oven temperature. This, I like to whack the heat up, and so it's 180 80. for about 25 minutes. So I'm going to put three slices on each, I'm just going to push oh, them down like that. Okay. See? Let me do one. Oh, God, haven't you done any? Sorry. No. You go, Stop. Chetna. Stop. It's really hard to let other people do stuff in your kitchen. Do you find that? Yeah. I can't. It's you're watching people and they never do it quite how, obviously, you do. <laughs> so I reckon these are six of them. Some of them have been stolen. Oh, I don't know okay. what happened to them, okay. Chetna. Well, maybe we dropped them somewhere. Maybe we did. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think we should try this one. I'm going to give it a slice. So I've got the basil oh. on top. So you need a slice with a bit of basil. The whole nectarine goes with the almond and the basil, just the perfect finish, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, Kate. Thank you so much. So That a has been lovely, guys. And please give these a go. And <laughs> if you like the recipe, then subscribe to the channel, Food with Chetna. 
and come back for more exciting recipes. You know, we might get Kate back again in the kitchen. Thanks for joining today.